Here we go again. What about a 1974 Chevrolet Corvette? We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Look at maplemotors.com. Get pre-approved with our financing. Check out our shipping rates. 350 under the hood. Of course, you can see it's got the AC compressor. We'll be checking it out to see if it works. Power steering, power brakes. It's like a fairly new alternator, aluminum radiator. T-tops on this one, aftermarket set of wheels. These are billet specialties. I actually like the look of them. Guys, hit subscribe, share this channel. That helps me out for now. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior, check everything out. This thing's nice and clean. We got a little Brie coming with us, my wife. Place your bets, do you think the horn works? This one's got the telescoping steering wheel on it. It's also got tilt. And it took me forever to figure out how to start this thing. There is a hidden button under the dash. Check this out. Security there. Looking across the dash here, this is the mileage that it's showing. I cannot stand behind the mileage since this is a 74 model. Your tack is coming up and working. Across the dash here, we have gas, so we don't have to stop this time. The old clock is not ticking. It's not gonna help it when I do this. Sometimes it does. So we got a uh, good old pressure. Battery's charging, engine temperature is still on. Nothing right now, so we'll wait on it. Wipers, give me something. It's just not gonna work. I guess wipers are out. Radio. Uh, nothing. Windows, they fly up now. <laughs> So they're working pretty good. Uh, blower motor, I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna turn it on AC. Tell you what, it's not doing a dang thing. I don't think it's gonna work. Nothing, blower motor is out. AC is not cutting on. Horn, did you place your bets? No matter what I do, it's not honking. All right guys, we're gonna hit the road. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Okay, so we both agreed. We kind of sit over a little bit. You got more of a view of the car and the interior here. Uh, the engine temperature is now coming up on the dash. We're gonna head out, find something to eat. It's all the way down there. Let's roll out, guys. Of course, anything I see, you'll know about it. This is the first time I have personally test driven this ride here. Let's rock and roll. I think we're good. Ah, get the mat all up under there. I don't know what's going on out here. Sounds good. We should go get something to eat. Okay, we're rolling down the road now. Now, roll up the windows. That way the wind's not blowing in here. Do got a bit of an exhaust smell, and you see the leaves coming out of the blower area. This one's got a little bit of a left pull and a vibration in a tire. Windshield wipers are starting to work there. That little motor was hanging up and just warmed up. Looks like it's starting to work. There we go. So yeah, if it starts raining, you wait a couple minutes and then the windshield wipers work. <laughs> Not how it's supposed to be, is it? Getting in the brakes, a little bit of a right pull there. Getting into the throttle. Got a little bit of a hesitation when you get into the throttle, like it's not wanting to take all the fuel. Plenty of pep. Even though. We're gonna ride on down through the parking lot here. Right behind this place, there's a couple speed bumps. So we're gonna hit them, I want you to listen closely hold the uh, horn button so it doesn't rattle. Here we go, we're gonna hit it. Uh, we're doing it about 15 mile an hour, 10 mile an hour. Speed bump there. We'll keep it at about 10, we don't wanna hit it too fast. Mess everything up. It's 10 mile an hour. Little bumpy in the back, not too bad. 
Next, we're gonna get some undercarriage shots. We're gonna see uh, what it looks like up under there and check the turn signals in the front, the turn signals in the rear. Pass by the camera and have a little fun. Let's do it, I'll be back. Okay, finally got you going on the head cam. Let's take off here, head on back to the lot. Trying to get a little squirrely in the parking lot, wouldn't window up to keep the uh, wind noise if you keep rolling the window up you can hear it fighting the track you can definitely feel heat coming from the air vents even though they're oh wow they're working now yeah they kicked on yeah it's hot so we do got some hot air we'll put her on AC give her another chance 
nope, no thank you. That's real hot. <laughs> so you got heat. I'm gonna crack that window again. Crack both of them here. About 100 degrees in here now. <laughs> Still got a left pull when you're riding down the road there. And a little bit of a vibration from a wheel or a tire. So we're coming back up on the lot here. Picking out the flaws is coming up next, so stick around for that. And look at those detail pictures. I'll be back, guys. Thanks. Here we go, picking out the flaws. We're gonna walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. There is detailed pictures at maplemotors.com, so go there and check it out, and let's get started. Coming up on the front end here, you can see it's got some thick paint around the nose. Little crack there in the grill. Little scratch here on the side. chips on the back here also back here crack in the paint spot up here too and there dirt there that should come off hazy and pitted on the door handle got some touch-up marks on the side here over the top a couple chips pretty good on the front here the chips there front windshield's got a scratch Whew. down it pillar looks good weather stripping's decent on the uh, t-tops here they got some dust on them chips there and that'll come off chip in the back here your back window looks nice and clean these you got to keep clean there's a little drain down on the bottom you don't want to put too much air pressure in there very little and it'll keep the dirt out of the line but that'll keep get, uh, water from getting in your gas tank looking around the back here Little chips by the tag. Little scuff mark there. Coming down this side. A few little specks back here, little chips. Also here. Scuff there. Crack in the door. And a scuff here. The middle of the door here is missing some paint. You can see the big chunks there crack down here as well you can hear it the scuff some marks on the front here the side of that nose coming on up and over they go chip here same with the paint line in the middle of the door chip up here spider webs Door handle does not look bad. I think I showed that one already. Coming up over the back. Chips here. Back window's in good shape. Weather stripping's not bad around there. It does have some age. And you can see this pillar here on the inside. It's got some cracking going on on the interior. The chips up here on the T-top. 
down your pillar here nice and clean the front sorry about all that wind there's some storms coming in i'm trying to get all this done before the storms you got a light scratch there and there it's very light Guys, we made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and open her up and check out the inside. Let's see what we got going on. Door panel on this one actually is in good shape, but it is sticking out here in the front. It needs some clips. A crack there in the corner on the edges here. There's some rubbish there on the bottom too where people are kicking it, getting in and out carpet it's not too bad flip this up oh no it is it needs carpet you can see there's a big old hole there it looked pretty good before i lifted that up though <laughs> the seat's got some wear you get a little bit of paperwork with this one it looks like a whole booklet full of stuff assembly manual the old manual there again to start this one up turn the key on push the button oh where's that there it is i want to show it to you so it does start up easy Got some white paint in the passenger seat there, the bottom. Passenger door panel looks pretty good. Nice and quiet. A lot of chips up under here. Be repainted, touched up. Let's go ahead and shut the hood down. shuts good the hood looks good a little rubbish in the corner here guys if you don't mind hit subscribe share this video look at those detailed pictures go to maplemotors.com to find all that information including financing and shipping and we're putting new cars on every single monday so join us on tiktok instagram facebook snapchat that helps me out keeps me doing these videos for you Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.